you all to the SKF Special Bulletin. I'm Reema Islam from the SKF News Studio. Let's begin with the headlines. Prestigious UK MHRA accreditation leads SKF to an array of successes. Signing deal with the biggest insulin maker, SKF opens new door in Bangladeshi pharmaceuticals. And another year of sales boost, SKF continues to be among the top five pharmaceuticals. Let's move on to the bulletin now. Years of hard work and integrity have made possible for SKF to win many prestigious seals of endorsements at international level. But the recent achievements have really made their mark. After achieving the UK MHRA accreditation, it's quite a new scenario. We'll know more about it, but first let's take a look at the amazing journey SKF made from 1990 to 2009 that led to this incredible achievement. SKF Bangladesh Limited was incorporated in 1980 as a subsidiary of Smith Klein and French USA. It was acquired by Transcom in 1990 in the wake of the merger between Smith Klein and French USA and Beecham UK. SKF manufactures and markets a wide range of therapeutic drug, bulk pellets, animal health and nutritional products to satisfy the unmet medical needs and improve people's lives. Till today, it always nourished the multinational culture and tried to develop in each and every aspect by maintaining its good quality, producing quality-assured medicine for patients. Today, SKF Bangladesh Limited is one of the top five pharmaceutical ventures with annual sales surpassing 3.6 billion taka in Bangladesh. Only in 2009, the growth of SKF was 20%. More than 1,600 employees are presently working with the company. SKF also has a noteworthy expansion even in the international market after a long and successful domestic market growth. This was the fabulous history of SKF till today. However, SKF made it possible only because of its adept workforce. Take marketing and sales for example, they are among the hallmarks of the company. SKF believes that professional marketing is the hallmark of its commitment to customers. It accomplishes marketing objectives through efficient and qualified cadres of product executives, sales executives, medical services executives and market research executives. Among different departments of the company, Market Service Department plays a vital role to boost up product sales. We facilitate the branding of the company and the product as well by creating congenial scientific base in Dr. Smile and reinforcing the negotiating capabilities of field force through need-based scientific seminar at strategic areas various scientific publications with competitor age, directly answering the doctor's query with cutting-edge scientific papers, and giving the feedback to the marketing with the doctor's reaction to various campaigns. The workforce of product management development is responsible to design the product, ensure its best packaging, and conduct its promotion being product executives, every day we have to perform indispensable activities such as we are responsible for some special assigned products and we treat our products as our babies. We formulate strategies and generate ideas based upon market demand and we also visualize our strategies and ideas in our printed promotional materials, gifts, etc. The company has also a very important department to train its workforce to keep the company's success up. It organizes in-house training on a regular basis. You see, the core activity of the training department are MSO recruitment, developing training module, imparting training by presentation. Apart from the core activity, we are conducting other activities like training need assessment, conducting upgradation tests, preparing book like product at a glance, working as a media for outsourced training resource house. SK 
KF sales graphs have always been upward. The company used to count millions in 1990s, now counting billions. Let's find out how. This is where it all began in 1990. This is in 1995. And this was in 2005. Now, this is quite big. But if you think this was big, wait till you see this. Wow! This is where we stand today. It is quite great, isn't it? Indeed. But what will be in 2010? Wow! We're going to take a short low sectal break now, but stay tuned as we have a lot more to come. Signing deal with the biggest insulin maker, SKF opens new door in Bangladeshi pharmaceuticals. One brand, one medicine, 60 crore taka turnover, 50,000 patients healed, 10,000 doctors prescribed. Losectil is the premium brand of SKF Bangladesh Limited. Welcome back. This is the SKF Special Bulletin and I'm Reema Islam here with you. New horizons of business are opening wide every day. SKF is among the top three pharmaceutical exporters of Bangladesh. Let's talk with the International Marketing Division to get recent updates. Apart from meeting our local demand, we are exporting our products since 1998. Our International Business Division has already established its presence in over 15 countries. Several countries of Africa, Central America and Central Asian Republic are in the pipeline. Since receiving the approval from UK MHRA, we have made remarkable progress in the international pharmaceutical arena and already exported our products to the UK. Several companies from the European Union have approached us for contract manufacturing. We are under negotiation and expecting potential business partnerships with them. Ms. Nusrat Motin will give us the details. Shah Mohamad Adib, International Business Division, SK Bangladesh Limited, Corporate Office. Thank you, Adib. Now one of the most remarkable achievements after the UK MHRA accreditation is that SKF is the only company from Bangladesh which is providing full manufacturing, product development, marketing and management services to one of Algeria's leading pharmaceutical company. We hope to achieve a sizable amount of the 1.8 billion USD pharmaceutical market of Algeria. UK MHRA has enabled us to qualify for the increasingly stringent registration process of the international pharmaceutical market. And with the accreditation and SKF's consistent record for providing top quality medicine, SKF's business partners have developed a firm assurance in its quality standards. SKF believes in excellence through quality. SKF is fully compliant with current good manufacturing practice, CGNP. For Martin Duplant, Tanjina gives you the details. Now we are in the cephalosporin block. This state of art facility is dedicated to manufacture cephalosporin antibiotics. We maintain high standard of CGMP and zoning concept for manufacturing different doses form like tablet, capsule, powder for suspension and injections. We must know what is the art inside and how the quality is built into the product. Look at that. SCAF, starting from sourcing of the raw materials, quality of the machineries and equipments, heating, ventilation and air conditioning, HVAC system, purified water system, effluent treatment system, proper validation of the machinery are fully maintained and complied with CGMP, current good manufacturing practice. ESCO offers sophisticated formulation know-how and facilities for solid doses, tablets, coated tablets, aqueous, organic and enteric coating, capsules and powder for suspension and syrup, liquids, syrups, 
suspensions and solutions, semi-solids, gel, ointment, cream, etc. Powder for oral liquids in sachets, bulk pellets, animal health and nutrition products. The company, which had 14,581 square feet of factory space, today has 332,000 square feet of factory space. Our manufacturing plant consists of cephalosporine block, generic block, liquid sterile and insulin block, pellets block, formulation development block, warehouse. With such a grand and state-of-the-art manufacturing facility, product growth never ceased to rise up. In 1990, SKF only had 11 products, but through time, this number only increased. And now, guess what? Today, it is running with more than 295 products. SKF is now breaking all the borders. Beyond the national sphere, international brands are now putting their faith in the company's good work. The world's biggest insulin maker, Novo Nordics, has signed a major deal with SKF, which now allows the company to extend its manufacturing base to Bangladesh. Let's hear about their achievement. The world's biggest insulin maker, Novo Nordisk, signed a major deal with SKF to extend its manufacturing base to Bangladesh as the third destination in Asia after China and India. A.M. Farooq, Managing Director of SKF Bangladesh and Melvin Oscar D'Souza, Head of the Regional Office India of Novo Nordisk, signed the agreement. Other than these companies, SKF also signed contact manufacturing agreement with two companies from UK, Waymade Healthcare and Millpledge. Other companies working with SKF include many Bangladeshi and multinational companies like Beximco Pharmaceuticals, Novartis Bangladesh Limited also work with this trustworthy company. Time for another perspective break. Coming up next, prestigious UK MHRA accreditation leads SKF to an array of successes. One brand, one medicine, 60 crore taka turnover, 50,000 patients heal, 10,000 doctors prescribe. Losactil is the premium brand of SKF Bangladesh Limited. Welcome back to the SKF Special Bulletin. First, the UK MHRE segment and our special correspondent Neda Shakiba will be taking the lead from here. All these years of hard work and integrity has won SKF many seals of prestigious endorsements internationally. It is now accredited by MHRA. This accreditation came as a reward for SKF's inherent characteristics that rigorously maintains quality standards. We have with us online a consultant of MHRA from the UK, Mr. Rob Walker. So Mr. Walker, could you please tell us what the MHRA is and why it is so difficult to get an approval from MHRA? MHRA is the uh, government agency in the United Kingdom, the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency. This agency controls the registration, the manufacture and the supply of medicines into the UK. It is very difficult to get approval from the MHRA because their standards are very strict they are very detailed. For example, uh, this book contains all the information you need to uh, inspect a company by. And the inspectors are very experienced. They are fully trained and have the highest inspection standards in the European Union. So it is a very, very strict uh, inspection standard that they use when they visit companies. How does MHRA work? And what is it doing to safeguard the public health? The MHRA work by a series of um, inspections and dossier approvals. The dossier approvals are carried out in London at their head office. Inspections are carried out anywhere in the world where the products are manufactured. These inspections could be in uh, America, it could be in China, and in SKF's case it was in Bangladesh. They manage those inspections and control the standards of manufacture by checking their audits against the GMP standards in the regulations. 
What other countries can SKF supply products to as a result of the MHRA approval? The MHRA approval process um, requires companies to be uh, audited against the European Union regulations. On the basis of the MHRA approval of SKF, this means SKF can supply products to all of the European Union without any further inspection standards or any further inspection visits. Thank you very much, Mr. Walker, for sharing such important facts with us. We have online the man who actually dreamt of this achievement, Mr. A.M. Farooq, Managing Director, SKF Bangladesh Limited. Mr. Farooq, we would like to know about your feelings on this achievement. I am very happy and delighted with this outstanding achievement. It is an achievement of SKF professional who believe in the spirit of excellence through quality. So according to you, what are the key factors to this success? It is the strongest desire and culture of the company and above all, the vision of escape management. And it is a great success of our professionals who worked so hard to create these milestones. So could you please tell us what significance SKF carries having this UK MHRA approval? MHRA approval is one of the toughest things to achieve. This approval will enable Escape to market its product to the UK and other European countries. Well, thank you, Mr. Farooq, for your valuable insights. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Neda. We have reached the end of the bulletin. SKF has definitely raised the curtain of a new era of global success. SKF's organizational success also marks our national pride. We all hope SKF will continue to lead Bangladesh and her economy further. From SKF News Studio, this is Rima Islam signing off. Stay healthy.